Hi there, Troy Parsons from The Hive. Now, I'm sitting here at Royal Tunbridge Wells, my home away from home after working with uh, you know, clients over here for the last couple of weeks. And you know, I've still got a practice back at home where we have physiotherapy, podiatry, massage, and exercise physiology, uh, amongst some other Pilates as well. Now, for me to be able to work over here and still have my practice functioning at home, the way I need to be able to monitor how things are going and that we're doing the right things back home is that I have a scoreboard. And so there's a few metrics that I like to track that give me an indication on how things are going back at the practice. Probably my most favourite and highly valuable uh, you know, metric to, to myself and also to you know, the people in my team is the Net Promoter School. Now, Net Promoter School, for those of you that don't know, is one of the most highly validated you know, customer satisfaction metrics out there. And the way it works is a simple question that's, that asks, how likely would you be to refer a friend or family member to come see us? Now, you can change the, the wordage, but essentially what people do is they rate us from zero to 10. Now, zero to six generally means they've had an unpleasant experience and well, I often say it means they hate us, so we've done something wrong. Seven to eight are deemed to be passive, neither here nor there. Then we have our nine and 10, which are our promoters. So they're basically our raving fans. They love what we do. And so this is a great opportunity for us to get feedback on how we're going over time. So we send out this question after every new consult and also after every fifth visit. And so what happens when we get a notification? So as soon as someone responds and it's between zero and six, we get a notification to my practice manager or myself and lets us know immediately that someone has had an unpleasant experience. That gives us the opportunity to contact them immediately to find out where did we drop the ball, you know, where did we fall short, and look for a way to actually turn that around to a positive experience. And not only do we get to learn a heck of a lot about our practice and where, where we're probably falling short, where we need to improve our systems or training, but also allows us the opportunity to convert that person who's had an unpleasant experience to someone who can potentially become a raving fan because we've taken the time to pick up the phone and contact. Now, I use the example of, you know, if we go to a hotel and I have an unpleasant experience there, now, you know, people have asked me, like, why does the practice manager or the owner call? I said, it's like having an unpleasant experience at a hotel and then, you know, someone from the front counter calling up to find out what went wrong, as opposed to the general manager. Now, if, you know, the, if you get the boss to call, it carries a lot more weight. So what we find is we look at these metrics and, you know, if you're in the banking sector or insurance, anything above about 4% is great. Uh, a lot of my GP friends, they find that anything above 40% is good. In allied health, you know, including dentistry, we look at you know, things, anything above 70% is a great result. So 70% of people are rating us 9 out of 10 out of 10 on how likely they would be to refer us. In our clinic, we generally hover around that 80, 88 to 89%. So when I look at that metric, I know we are doing good things and we're looking after people. And along the way, we've gained some valuable feedback. Look, I hope this has been of benefit to you and I would strongly encourage you to look at you know, tracking net promoter score in your own practice to find out how you're serving your patients and look for those great opportunities to you know, uh, improve where you're falling short, but also to acknowledge those people who rate us 9 out of 10, our raving fans, and potentially ask them for a good review. Happy business. Bye.